Welcome back to another video of RW Outdoors. It's about that time of year where I put out some Christmas lights and I noticed that one of my electrical outlets stopped working. So I'm gonna be showing you how to replace it. Now this is just a regular three prong 120 US plug. And before you dig into any of these, you wanna make sure that you unplug this power source and turn off the breaker. So there's absolutely no power going into it. So what I did to ensure it is I plugged in the light. As you can see here, it's not lit up. So we're gonna dig into it. The three basic tools, some needle nose pliers if necessary, a number two Phillips screwdriver and a regular screwdriver. The first thing I'm gonna do is take off this weather shield from the outlet. So all you have to do is here is just take out that regular screw right there with your regular screwdriver. So then once you unscrew it, it should just slide off your outlet. You see it's all dirty in there. That could be a reason why it doesn't work. Some of the contacts are corroded. So now what you're gonna do is take either your Phillips or the regular screwdriver and take these screws off here that hold the outlet to the box. Then once you got your screws out, just pull your outlet out. You see that right there? Like the wires just came out like that. As you saw here, we're gonna start taking out some of the wires and the common wire popped off by itself. So I don't have to worry about that one, but we'll have to restrip it because you can see how it's all corroded. So that way it gets a good contact. So now for the ground, you just unscrew this ground screw a little bit. And undo that. So it comes off like that. And these are push connectors, which I'm when I put the new outlet in, I'm just gonna be using the screw. So you have to, might have to do is poke a little needle or something in there or just pull it out hard. And it should just come out because this outlet's junk. So you put a lot of force to it, it'll come out. You can see whoever wired it before me took the two wires and wire nutted them together and used a jumper. So they only had one connector. So I'm going to take these wire nuts out and then just use it as the two wires because you can just connect them with because there's two screws since I'm using the screw connectors. So I'll take these wire nuts off. And also, just for reference, the white wire is a neutral wire and the black is common and the bare is ground. I forgot to mention in the beginning you may need some wire strippers because how they had it, it was wire nutted and to put it on the terminal screws, you need an inch of stripped wire. So once you have your wire stripped, this is a case where you need your needle nose pliers so you can loop your wires. See, just get your wires like that at the end and then just loop it. Just like that and do that to all your wires. Once you got your wires looped, now it's time to install them onto your outlet. So grab your screwdriver and open up your screws if they're not already. So one term of reference is the little prong is your common and the bigger one is your neutral. And another way to go by it is the brass screw is your common and the silver screw is your neutral and the green screw is your ground. So what I like to do is I like to just get the ground out of the way first. And you pull that wire up and you'll install it the way the screw tightens. So your loop will go on like that and then as you tighten the screw, then it will help it tighten down. Now I'm going to take care of my neutral. If any of you are wondering, you actually want the wire stripped just like that below the screw, but you want to make sure that it doesn't go below the outlet itself. So that's part of having your inch of wire stripped. So now. I'm gonna move on to the commons, which are the little prong. Now that it's all hooked up, I like to just check over my work and make sure it looks nice. And they're nice and tight. And these screw connectors are a lot better than the push connectors, because as you can saw, I was able to just push them all right out. Now I'm gonna push it in and then fasten it down. Now it's time to put the waterproof cover back on. Now I'm gonna turn my power on to see if it works. Just like that, the lights turned on. Thanks for watching and please like and subscribe.